What's up survivors, I'm Natural Born, and in today's video we're going to be doing some mining in the desert biome. We're also going to talk about all the different resources you can find in the desert, and what depth is the best to be mining at. Now if you enjoy the video, and want to see more console content, then consider grabbing your steel pickaxe, and smashing that subscribe button. It's not only free, but a massive help to me. But without further ado, let's get into the video. But before we dive deep into the desert mine, there's a few other things that I want to mention quickly. First, is that you can find yucca fruit by picking these plants here. Now you only receive one fruit from these, but if you knock back some cacti, you will actually receive more yucca fruit, and you will also get plant fibre. And you will get these from both types of cactus plants. Next, is the aloe vera plant. You can find these scattered throughout the desert, and once you pick them up, you can turn them into aloe vera cream, which can be crafted into first aid bandages. And just like the forest biome, you can find small boulders all throughout the desert. Although, I wouldn't recommend surface mining in the desert, because it's child's play, compared to what you're going to find deep under the ground. And last but not least, you can also find clay in the desert by looking at your map and finding these brown spots, and either using a shovel or an auger to dig it up. Alright, so we've gone ahead and we've dug out the same type of mine that we used in the forest biome. We are at elevation 1 on the map. So we're going to head downstairs and we're going to see what we've got down there. So down here at minus 10, this is where I've put all of the stock. As you can see here, these are all the resources that we got from digging this mine. And I wasn't necessarily going for resources. You can see we've got a crap ton of sand here and half the amount of stone. Now, I also spent an hour digging at bedrock as well. So you'll have to stick around to the end of the video to see how much resources we got from that. But for now, we're going to head down into the mine. So down here at minus 20 for elevation, we've dug out all of these mine shafts and as you can see we didn't find a single vein of resources so what that tells us is from the surface down to negative 20 there is nothing to be found so we're going to continue on down and we're going to head to minus 30 now, as you can see, at minus 30, we have resources popping up. At the moment, we've found iron and oil shale. So, as you can see here, this dirty color, bronze color looking rock, this is the iron. If we continue down a bit further, you'll see this. It almost looks like stone, like a shiny type of stone, but this is our oil shale. So if you come to the desert to do your mining, then you want to start around minus 30. But we'll continue on down here. You can see we've got more iron and more oil shale. Now one thing that I have noticed, the difference between mining in the forest biome and the desert biome, is that the veins of resources are a hell of a lot larger in the desert biome. Now I do have my auger with me, so we are going to do a bit of digging, just so you guys can get a fair idea of how uh, large these veins are. Because unfortunately, on console, we don't have access to a free cam, so we have to manually dig all of this out by hand, just to get a good idea of what we're looking at. Down this way we have more iron, more oil shale, and same with right down here. You can even see right up there, we've got a bit of oil shale here. We've got a nice chunk here. And we have some more down here. Now, to give you guys a fair idea of how large these veins are, you can see right here through the wall, how it spreads all the way into this area. But we're going to come back around here, down to this shaft. And as you can see, this actually links all the way up to the other side. So that's how far the exhaust go. So yeah, it's pretty crazy, guys. 
I highly recommend if you're on the hunt for any resources that the desert is where you go. Like I've mentioned, you can find iron, but most importantly, find oil shaker. Now, you also have a good chance of finding lead and nitrate powder, and also coal. So the desert is overall the best place in the game to mine, hands down. Now, if you're specifically looking for a certain type of resource, for nitrate powder, I recommend digging in the snow biome or the wasteland. If you're after coal, you want to be digging in the burnt forest biome or the plains biome. But as we move deeper into the mine, you can see that we're now at minus 40. And once again, we have iron and oil shale more iron and oil shale and as you can see it's just everywhere these are extremely large veins more iron and oil shale even more and yeah as i mentioned the desert if you're looking for iron or oil shale this is 100 percent the place to be and as you can see here we've even found a vein of nitrate powder now to tell the difference between nitrate powder and lead you can see with nitrate powder it has these small circle black spots on it and it's still quite shiny so we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to dig up this vein of nitrate powder just to see how much it actually gets. now when i did uncover it i did dig up a little bit of it but not too much oil shale here and the other thing with these veins of resources too is that they run quite high or quite deep so as you can see we've been going down 10 blocks each time a lot of these veins can run for up to 20 blocks so it's always a good idea to follow them up or down So we found 300 nitrate powder from that. Not a lot, but definitely better than nothing. So we're going to continue down to the next layer. Now, the next layer that we get to will be minus 50. Now, if you guys are wondering where the best place to mine in the desert biome is, it is 100% minus 50 so as you can see here both sides we have veins of iron and oil shale same with here down this side we have more iron and oil shale same with down here and same with both of these sides and we're going to run all the way back down to this side and because we are quite close to the end of this mine, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dig up a bunch of it. So you can see both sides here, iron and oil shale. Same with here. And same with here, except on this side, we've actually found some lead. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to find that vein of lead. And you can see it's right here. So it sort of looks like the oil shale, but you can see it's got more of a metallic tinge to it. I'm going to go ahead and wind this up. As you can tell here, this lead vein is a hell of a lot bigger than the nitrate vein that we found. There's still a bit in there, but yeah, as you can see, we've already found 800 lead from that. Yeah, as I mentioned, you can just follow these down for as long as they go. So yeah, just under 900 lead from that. Not too bad at all. So we're going to get back into the mine shaft. You can see down this one we have more lead, iron and oil shale. 
and more lead iron and oil shale down this way too and then last but not least we have iron nitrate powder and oil shale and iron and oil shale but you can see how common it is that we start running into all of these resources down at minus 50. it's definitely the place to be if you're looking to get a lot of resources so at the moment i'm going to leave one of each up here so we're going to do a bit of mining don't want to get all of these mixed up and we'll pop that there too just in case we run into some of that now it's not looking like a big vein there well it could be but i'm going to find somewhere that i'm a bit more confident that it's going to give us a lot of resources just to sort of showcase to you guys what you can really find down here. Might as well just go for this spot here. And you can see the oil shale has this texture, almost looks like stone. But as you all know, when you're mining in the desert biome, there is no solid stone. You have this stuff here, which has sand and stone. So if you're looking to stock up on resources or make a lot of cement or concrete mix, it's definitely the place that you want to come to all of your digging. See, the more we open this up, the more resources that it disposes. almost already found a full stack of iron we found a good amount of oil shale too now what i don't want to spend too long doing this to be honest with you guys and i've done a full hour mining of bedrock because you find so many veins of resources it's pretty much continuously mined by a time it's super easy to find these veins where at least every 10 to 20 blocks you mine, you're going to run into a hell of a lot of resources. But you can see even here, we've still got heaps down here, all around here. And that was only one spot. I think, yeah, there we've got more here. More oil shale. Same with here. And even up here, we've got a bit of iron as well. And some lead by the looks of it. So yeah, we're not going to mine all of that up, but that gives you guys a fair idea of what you're looking at when you do a bit of mining in the desert. So yeah, see, we already got over a full stack of iron there. Now, last but not least on the list is bedrock itself. Now, before I'd done all of this testing, I always thought bedrock was the best place to mine at, but I'll tell you guys now, it's minus 50, because... As I mentioned, all of these resources that we do run into usually run down to bedrock. See, even this tunnel here, you can see it's just exposed veins the whole way across it. Now, I've done a bit of mining down here because throughout this entire project, I was on the hunt for some diamonds to show you guys. For anybody that doesn't know, the rarest resource that you can find in the desert is silver gold and diamonds now they serve no purpose in the game apart from for selling but if you collect it then i recommend holding on to them but yeah i've done all of this digging down here so as you can see we've got lead and oil shale iron and oil shale more iron and oil shale and obviously more iron and oil shale but unfortunately no diamonds now in Navis Gain, I do know a spot where to find some diamonds, so I'm going to go ahead and insert a clip now just to show you guys what a vein of diamonds does look like. Alright guys, so you can see here that we have a vein of diamonds in front of us. Now we're at elevation minus 29 in the Navis Gain mines. Now it has this metallic glassy texture to it, and you can see that when you break it, 
you don't receive any resources until you completely break the vein itself. Now, unfortunately, we didn't find diamonds, but we did get gold and silver. All right, so if you're doing any digging in the desert and you find a vein of resources that resembles that, then you know that you've literally struck gold. But yeah, guys, that is about it for today's video. So this tunnel here is a linked all the way to my main base. Anybody who watched my main base tour will know that my main base is up here at the farm. It's a lot of digging, but I tell you now, it's definitely worth it for the amount of resources that you get back. And yeah, a few people did ask me to do a tutorial on this mine. Now, I will tell you guys, this mine is not the most efficient. The reason that I dug it this way was because I wanted to open up all of these different veins of resources so you guys could actually see. Because like I said, unfortunately on console, we don't have access to free cam. Alright, now that we've finished all of that, we're going to head back up to the top and we're going to have a look at the crate where we have all of our resources from doing one full hour of digging at bedrock. Now, I probably should have done this at minus 50, but bedrock was good enough, because half of the time, I usually ended up at minus 50. But yeah, as you can see here, here's all the stone that we got, all the sand, we got a really good amount of iron, because you've got to remember this is only an hour of digging with the auger. We got three stacks of oil shale, which totals to 150,000 gas, which is pretty insane. And we got a bunch of lead as well. So unfortunately, we didn't run into any nitrate powder veins, and we obviously didn't run into any diamond veins. But yeah, guys, if you're looking to stock up on resources, I highly recommend finding a desert in your world, digging your way down to bedrock, or just above bedrock, doing all of your mining there and if you guys want to see any other mining guides for any other biome then let me know in the comments below and i'll head over to that biome i'll dig out a similar mine to this so we can open up all of the different mine shafts at each of the levels to see where the best place the mine is but yeah guys that about sums it up for today's video if you learned something new then maybe consider leaving a like or even if you're new to the channel, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button for more console content. But as always, stay safe out there survivors, and I'll see you in the next one.